Y'all know me, man. I, I try to stay as positive as I possibly can, but at the same time, I'm human. So there are certain things that get to me. And, you know, you can be a, a passive person in the sense that it's just like, look, man, what you're saying or what you're assuming or what you're doing or what you're projecting or what you believe about me, it's not affecting how I'm living my life. I mean, you're saying this over here, but I'm here in Cambodia at the eighth wonder of the world living my life. So what you're saying is not affecting me. But at the same time, certain things are said and you feel like, you know what? I need to respond to that. But the more I think about it, the more I say, if I respond, I'm giving positive energy toward a negative situation. And so 99% of the time, I just choose to keep it moving. Coffee, yeah. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> you believe you can fly now? <laughs> I believe I can. <laughs> I'm not in frame, am I? I don't know. Maybe you are. Because I'm over here like. <laughs> like what's that dude? I'm all, From what I can see in the comment section, most people like you. They think you're funny. Thank you. So. That's right. <laughs> What's going on there, friends? It's a beautiful morning. I don't know what to do with my hair. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're out here on the streets in Siem Reap, talking to the locals and talking to the foreigners. How are you today, sir? Hi. <laughs> Where are you headed today? Hi. Can you tell us a little bit about this area? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his Will Ferrell going on. CM Reap. So we're headed out to Angkor Wat, but y'all know me. I gotta get my coffee, yeah. I would go back to that cafe I went to yesterday, but it's on the other side of the river. I don't feel like driving all the way over there. This one's right here on the way to Angkor Wat, so I figured I'll just stop here, get a small coffee, <laughs> and then we can be on our way. Oh, damn. She's a cutie. Good morning. Good morning. All right, y'all, I got myself a ham and cheese croissant and a small caramel macchiato. The cool thing about Cambodia is you can use real or you can use US dollars. That was about seven bucks. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Good I wake up every day. I'm gonna stop eating sugar. I'm gonna stop drinking Coke. I'm gonna stop eating bread. I'm gonna get rid of all this belly. <laughs> and then the other one sitting on my shoulder is saying, "Live your life." No, I, I seriously need to do something about it, man. I was looking at my gut the other day, and I'm like, "This is out of control, bro. This is 100% absolutely out of control." I get back to Pattaya. I got to get back on the bike get back in the gym and uh what the heck man it melted the hell out that straw goodness gracious all right i got my coffee i got my croissant i got some napkins let's exit stage left and do you have a plan today to somewhere else we're just gonna go to Angkor Wat. Angkor Wat today and we go from there we don't really make major plans. We kind of just see where the day goes. Yeah, we just yeah. design and go. Yeah. And he's your, your best partner. That's my brother. Oh, is he, he's your brother. That's my brother. My brother back home, yes. he says, blood doesn't make you family. Oh. Blood makes you related. Uh, so he's not my blood brother, Yes. but I still consider him to be my brother. I he's a very, 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 very good friend. Mm -hmm. So I don't call him friend, I call him brother. Uh, Wong Samon and CM Reap. This is the Pub Street area. I'm happy to welcome everyone who would like to visit my city. And your, your nickname is Cobra. My nickname is Cobra. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it drives this little tuk-tuk. Yeah. Yeah. Their tuk-tuks are a little bit different than the ones you see in Thailand, but cool nonetheless. Yeah. So I'll leave his WhatsApp number linked in the description box below. If you need a tour guide or whatever around the city of CM Reap, Cobra help you out. Okay, sir. 
Thank you. Nice to see you, Phil. All right. <laughs> Let's ride. All right, friends. We are out here at Angkor Wat. This is considered the eighth wonder of the world. It's one thing to see it in photos. It's another thing to be standing here. This place is massive. Of course, it's a very popular tourist attraction. If I'm not mistaken, one of the Tomb Raider movies, parts of it were filmed here. Let's check it out. They've got a little bit of restoration work going on back there. You can see where they've made concrete replacements. I don't know what's going on with weasels in the bushes the last 24 hours. I've just had a whole lot of negativity being thrown my way and I'm doing my best to fight through it. Yesterday, I got pulled over by the police and got a ticket. Now, I'll admit it was my fault. I didn't see the sign that said well, you can't fault. turn left. Technically, you were following me. It wasn't nobody's fault, man. I mean, well, it was my fault because I didn't pay attention to the sign, but I can't blame him. I honestly was just following the flow of traffic. Everybody was making that turn, but they pulled me over and it was like, oh, you go back there. So I paid 100,000 real, which is about $25, but it kind of put me in a mood. And I told Aaron, I was like, man, I'll go back to the room because when I get like that, I'm just not good company. So I chilled out the rest of the night and then I'm here in Angor Wat trying to get footage for y'all. And some lady walks over to me and tells me I can't film. I can't use my GoPro. And I'm like, everybody here has got their phone out or a GoPro or something. There's guys here with the long telescopic lens. I'm like, what's going on? But whatever, I put my GoPro up. And then I come over here to this other lady and I typed it out and translate and said, where can I buy a permit to film? And she said, oh no, I just talked to my boss and it's okay, you can film. Because you're a professional. <laughs> it's like, what? I don't know, man. Just standing here looking at how they constructed all this. Stone by stone by stone, stacked up on top of each other. Then everything being etched or carved, or if you want to call it scroll work, I don't really know the terminology, but it is very obvious that this took a ton of time to build and a lot of man hours and a lot of skill. We were looking at these right here and it looks like they didn't finish them. Especially this one right here, it just got started. You can see the progression, but like these three right here didn't get finished. I'm trying to figure out what, what's going on with that. Hey, check this out. I just got an alert telling me that somebody bought a shirt. So whoever you are, thank you. I'll look later and see who it was. Or I guess I could look now. Give me a second. Sylvester Nettles. Also a shout out to David Denton and Shelton Woods. Thank you for ordering a shirt from my website. We walked all the way straight past this sign. I was like, oh, we can't go down here because there's no steps right there. And you're like, yeah, that, that's we because walked, there's a sign. And walked. it's in English. I told y'all I'd be goofy sometime, man. Tour guide over here was saying that they moved the stone from a mountain on the river and then elephants drug the stone closer to the city. It was put into place and then they chiseled everything by hand. This is one of those places where you just have to be here to really grasp how big it is, to grasp the scale, to really understand the intricacies and all the detail work and craftsmanship that had to go into making this place. This had to take a lot of time, a lot of man hours, a lot of back-breaking labor to get all this done. It's understandable why they consider this to be the eighth wonder of the world. I grabbed myself a bottle of water. Aaron's got some watermelon juice. They didn't have ice cream. Yeah, we were looking for the watermelon ice creams, but they didn't have them, so he settled for the juice. Oh, it's, it's a small man. If you come here, be prepared to do a lot of walking. This is just the main temple that we went to. There's so many more around. I don't know what we're doing now, though. Are we going to another one? Are we going to get something to eat, or what are we doing? Figure it out when we get there. Figure it out when we get there. It's 12 o'clock. We walked a little bit further and found this young lady here. She had the watermelon popsicles. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. 3,000 real, that's like 75 cents. These things are freaking great. 